Hi, my name is Sam Kim and I'm a researcher at the Chair of Medical Information Technology at the RWTH Aachen University. Today I'll introduce you to the Integrated Posture and Activity Network by Medit Aachen, or short Ipanema. Ipanema is a modular body sensor network for mobile health monitoring. The Ipanema nodes are 68 by 42 millimeters and 18 millimeters high. The weight of a sensor is about 30 grams. The key components are a microcontroller MSP430 F1611 and a sub gigahertz transceiver CC1101, which we are using in a 433 megahertz ISM band. The sensor nodes are powered by lithium polymer batteries. The integrated LiPo battery can be charged over a standard micro-USB port and the on and off switch is recessed into the housing to prevent accidental on and off switching. The Ipanema is a star-shaped network with a um, dedicated master device and several slave nodes. The maximum data rate is configured to 250 kilobits per second with a minimum shift keying modulation. To facilitate the communication between the Ipanema network and off-the-shelf devices like PCs or PDAs, um, it is equipped with a Bluetooth extension board. The extension board connector offers um, redundant power supply with 3.3 volts uh, regulated and 4.2 volts directly from the lithium polymer battery. Additionally, there are 14 I.O. pins, including digital interfaces like UART, SPI, I2C, um, several analog to digital or digital to analog converters and interrupt capable pins. The microcontroller is programmed over a JTAG interface, which can be connected to from the side. The lithium polymer battery has a capacity of 320 milliamp hours, and that's sufficient for over 15 hours runtime. In today's um, demonstration you will see two sensors. One is the accelerometer, which you can see on the left side, and um, the second sensor I will be showing today is a single lead ECG with a driven right leg circuitry. The ECG electrodes are connected over push buttons and wired to the actual amplifying board. Here you can see how the ECG sensor board connects to the t-shirt. The integrated textile leads are made of conductive yarn and um, connect the electrodes with the measurement electronics. The screw has a double function as a mechanical fixation of the housing and uh, it serves also as a light beam for the LED on the inside. In the first demonstration, um, the general function of the network and the accelerometer and ECG sensor will be shown. In a second demonstration afterwards, um, you will see me wearing the actual t-shirt. The activation of the Bluetooth data transmission is indicated um, at the master device by the blue LED.
the accelerometer is a MEMS based sensor so you can see the um, static offset by the gravitational force as well as um, the excitation on the three dimensions. Here you can see the ECG simulator that is connected over conductive pads on the styrofoam torso. The ECG simulator is used to simulate different heart rates and we're starting off with 80 beats per minute and increasing it to 180 beats per minute. This is me wearing the ECG shirt and you can see the master node is connected on a belt on the hip and um, for demonstration purposes I have attached the accelerometer to my right wrist. After activation of the ECG sensor I am connecting it via the push buttons to the t-shirt. On the screen to the left you can see both the raw ECG data as well as the calculated heart rate. The Panema system was uh, used for a demonstration at the Luz Love 2011 and the picture shows the Humic running team with the t-shirt and the Panema notes. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it.